and one ERA coming in. Outside to Jazz, who had a career night. Ten home runs on the season now. 37 ribbies. On the edge for. Inside corner that time. One ball and two strikes. Just got a piece of that one last night, though, for Jazz. Decision. Here's a one-two now from Gray. In the dirt, checked his swing. Ground ball. And one down. Allowed a home run in 21 of them for a total of 33 long balls. This is Garrett Cooper out towards center, and it's going to drop in front of Victor Robles. A base hit for Coop. So before we can even tell you how hot Garrett Cooper is, he gets a one-out base hit. Homers on the year. Fastball outside corner. And Solaire lifts this one right side. Josh Bell gives it a look. They're kind of in the middle of it right now. Taken down and away. A ball at two strike. Yeah, two of the names you hear a lot. In the left side of the infield against the Marlins left fielder. But he still manages to find a hole. He hit it so hard through that left side. And the Marlins have back-to-back -back hits. Love to see guys hit uh, hard. He's the one guy who didn't get the party invite last night. That's down and in. Long look in before the 1-1 pitch. Swung on and mid. That one kicks away from Kiebert, but... Cooper and a 2 2 check swing foul. Another 2 2 pitch from Gray, and that is ripped foul. Wow, not by much. Another 2 2 on the way, and Aguilar may be at first base with catcher's interference, even though it's caught in left field. Marlins are going to have the bases loaded. And now they're loaded with one out for Avi Sayil Garcia. Coop Soler and Aguilar third to first. And here comes an 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. And Gray deals. Grounded foul. That is pretty amazing. Looks to battle 0-2. Instead, chases a slider low and away. Breaking ball for a strike. Gray is 0 1. Well, if nothing else, the Marlins are making Gray a 1 1. One ball and two strikes. And Birdie swings and misses. Gray works himself into and into and out of a bases loaded jam in the first. Mickey takes outside ball one. Really climbing 229. A little out in front and under that one. Yeah, really, you look back at the Unless you're Marcus Simeon. What did he have? Six hits and three homers yesterday? Seven hits, three homers in a doubleheader? Then maybe you could. He's averages 240. Bouncer towards short. Garcia's got it. Low throw and dug out by Bell. Yeah, I think uh, Don Mattingly as well. So we'll see if those pairings continue for the foreseeable future. And then one actually in Washington on June 30th. So how do you keep everybody fresh and help? Swung on and missed. A slider, 12, 15 of 18, something like that. You're right. Brian De La Cruz taps it foul. And the Marlins.
history. That's low. Ball and two strikes to. That's why we put that in the scouting report. Notice the whip walks and hits. Two balls, two strikes, two outs to De La Cruz. And it must be a day that ends in Y. De La Cruz gets a base hit. We've routed out his first time up. Ruiz thought about it, but De La and Sunday. Ball and no strikes to Jazz. That one's inside. The Nationals defend that area. And that's one thing that uh, a 3 0 pitch. He had a grand slam on a 3 0 pitch last night. And I guarantee they're aware of that. It was an area last year he got a lot of called strikes that were off the plate. A 3 2, there goes De La Cruz. It was the fastball and it was inner. He did not. Went with the curveball and Jazz swung and missed. Trade deadline. You got to figure that Josh Bell will be highly sought after. And you could make a case that the Marlins back and forth between first and DH with Aguilar. But he's been doing a lot of that. Muscles another one out there. We've seen him in the last few weeks kind of drive baseballs. He hasn't done that today, but he still has another. Nationals have three on the left side of the infield against Jorge, who rips one foul. Be funny how quick they all revert back to batting average and wins when it comes to arbitration, right? <laughs> one one from Gray. Down the right field line. One ball, two strikes. Upstairs with 94. And that's a looper base hit. So just like the first inning, Coop and Soler go back to back with Knox. That's low and away. We talked about it in Colorado, actually. So he will be one who struggles with the pitch. A 2-0 pitch. Waves and misses at a slot. Goes back to that pitch. Another swing and a miss, and it's two and two. Another good opportunity here in the third. Two on and nobody out. Soft liner towards short. And Cooper gets back in time. One away. Nothing else to do but to help us. So it's, it's only fair. And he also tells me that you may not see another one. That the change up fouled away, and it's 0 and 2. Got him with the slider last time. Out in the first. Where does he go here in the third? That time the curveball. Chopped wide outside of third. Still up for Sandy. <laughs> Avi pops this one up. Infield fly rule. Bell puts it away even though he does not have to. There's got to be some sort of a party going on out there. A, like a crazy hat. <laughs> John Birdie takes the ball in the dirt, one and one. We talked about it, Paul, in the open. In the third, Cooper and Soler, the runners, fouled away. Ball and two strikes. It was the curveball that time. Pitch clock in the minor leagues and get that muscle memory. But it's worked. Let me in on the fun. Am I rocking Daffy Duck right you're, now? You're now in the family. <laughs> did, did you hear that? Now in. I'm just going to let that breathe for a second, I think. It's probably best. <laughs> My only comment now to make their night. Congrats to the kids. Yeah, too, absolutely. On their season. For sure. A ball and two strikes from Josiah Gray to Miguel Rojas. That's outside. After making. Called strike three. Mickey thought that was down and away. But both have been effective. Zeros on the board. And a 
a strike. Then on a slider back in the second. Well, we talked too about left-handers having more success That's in that game for Josiah Gray. Wendell dealing with the hamstring issue right now. That one rolled to short for Garcia. And that's the second out here in the fourth inning. Your sets. That was the first time since 1946 that Josh Hader gave up a run. <laughs> Thompson's got him going. Yeah, they're playing better baseball. And by the way, Justin Verlander. Base hit for De La Cruz his first time. Fouls it back. One, two. De La Cruz out towards center. Robles moves over and makes the catch. A one, two, three, fourth inning. We stay same set. And quite a contrast to last night's off, which is the best in the National League. Tonight, though, against Josiah Gray. That's a good thought by Jazz, just because it's a scoreless game. That's a play where our defense that has committed Plenty of errors this year. That one was a strike. Three balls, two strikes. Jazz takes inside, and the Marlins have the leadoff man on. First walk issued by Josiah Gray tonight. Jazz goes, first pitch. And got him. It was Hernandez that applied. I really haven't read. Are there uh, any minor league, minor leagues that are exp minor league rules, bigger bases? Uh, you know, I forget on that. Ground ball. That's Garcia. Gets to it. Gets rid of it quick, but no chance to get Cooper, who now has three. Goes after the first one, lifts a fly ball. Shallow right center field. It is Hernandez to make the play. And swings and misses. Big swing and a miss there. outside two balls and two strikes for the runner at first base and gray deals low so Coop will get a head start he has been very good here tonight that is a foul ball with pitch here for Josiah Gray getting to that number for the third time in his career he'll get to one three and two with two outs there goes Coop and here it comes Lofted out toward left field. Lane Thomas is there. Five innings in the book. Mm -hmm.